Next up at UFC Vegas 71, we have Jeremiah Wells taking on Matt Semmelsberger. Jeremiah Wells, 11-2 overall, 5-0 in his last five. He is riding a five-fight stoppage streak, and he's taking on Matt Semi Semmelsberger, 11-4 overall, 3-2 in his last five. And he's coming off that underdog win over Jake Matthews. He embarrassed Jake Matthews in that we fight. Were, Jake, Matthews, that. Jake Matthews, permanent we were all over fade. that. Oh, yeah. Wink, wink, both sides. Jake Matthews permanent fade after what Matt Semmelsberger was able to do to him. This should be a fun fight, and it's an interesting fight because I'll tell you right now, I think Jeremiah Wells wins, but you can't bet against Matt freaking Semmelsberger. Jeremiah Wells has three fights in the UFC with three stoppage wins. Well-rounded guy. We've seen him showcase striking, like when he knocked out Court McGee, who's insanely tough. Same with Worley Alves. We've seen him with his grappling skills against Blood Diamond, Mike Matheta. It always sounds like I, it always sounds like I have a lisp. It always sounds like you have a lisp when you say that guy's name. But anyway, he just fights like a big, powerful striker. He's got explosive hands. But what everybody forgets is he has a BJJ black belt, and he's used it. It's an he's an accomplished black belt. He throws wild. He throws with intent, and then he gets his takedowns, and he can submit you as well. Jeremiah Wells very well well rounded, very dangerous. He's taking on Matt Semmelsberger. He's an aggressive striker. He marches forward. Solid leg kicks. Good body work. He has power, but a lot of his finishes are just forward pressure and grit. He's a hard guy to get out of there. He's a hard guy to get out of your face. And he's coming off that gritty win over Jake Matthews where he worked in three takedowns and three knockdowns. If I didn't have so much respect for how dangerous and tough Matt Semmelsberger is, Jeremiah is the easy pick. He's insanely dangerous. He's got powerful hands. He's got very good jujitsu. And I think he should win this fight. I think he's going to have the more powerful strikes, which is crazy to say because everybody knows how hard Matt Semmelsberger hits. He's going to have the better jujitsu. The wrestling is probably going to go to Matt Semmelsberger. Jeremiah Wells is the pick. Absolutely no bet whatsoever because Matt Semmelsberger terrifies the shit out of me. But this is even money. And I think Jeremiah Wells is just the better fighter of the two of them. And at even money, why wouldn't you bet on the better fighter? You obviously disagree. Go ahead. Say whatever stupid shit you have to say. Hey, you get mad before I even start talking. Because you're, so, you're I, so annoying with the, the, the fucking stupid noise. You're so Well, because I know I'm right. I mean, when I know I'm right, I know I'm right. So we can bet on this fight too if you want. But actually, 100 bucks. I actually, I no, don't no, 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 right. no, no, no. No, because well, let me do my breakdown right. first. When let I know I'm right, down. I'm right. No, okay. I, this is what I was saying. I, I could not wait to fade Jeremiah Wells. I didn't care who he was fighting. I was going to fade him no matter what. And then I saw that he was fighting Matt Selmsberger, and I was like, ah, shit. Because sometimes <laughs> Matt Selmsberger does do some stupid shit, either in the striking, sometimes he wrestles when he shouldn't wrestle, and in this situation, he could get caught up in either a, a firefight with, with Jeremiah Wells, which he's probably going to lose, or he could get caught up in scrambles, and as Angelo mentioned, he should probably he, he could probably lose that too. But I believe that Matt Selmsberger is the, is the better overall fighter. Jeremiah Wells is a terrible striker. You and just said that Matt Semmelsberger would lose a firefight fire fight. on his feet he would lose a striking match on his feet and he would lose a grappling match and then you said he's the better overall fighter yeah can, can you, are you gonna let me finish I, I was like i was like about to tell the story and then you interrupted you see how I that works need, I, yeah. jeremiah wells striking is absolutely awful it is terrible he is part of that henzo gracie philly camp that just i don't know what their striking coach is doing Pat Sabatini, his striking never improved over the last four years. He got knocked out. Sean Brady, his striking never improved over the last whatever. He gets knocked out by Blow Muhammad. Jeremiah Wells, all he does is just throw wild shit as hard as he can. And so far, it's been working out for him. I mean, if he lands on Matt Selmsberg, he's probably going to knock him the fuck out. His takedowns are terrible. Even against Blood Diamond, he had a double underhooks and had to just kind of muscle through positions for takedowns. That's how he gets takedowns. Semmelsberger is the better wrestler. He's the better striker. That's why he's the better overall fighter, Angelo. He's just not as good in the jiu-jitsu. So Semmelsberger should come in, know that the big wild shit's coming, beat him to the punch with nice straight shots. I want everything straight down the pipe. No looping shit because Jeremiah will beat you to the punch and he will knock you out. And I don't want any offensive wrestling from Sumsberg. I don't I don't want any of it. Keep this standing. You just beat a grappler who thought he was a striker. Do the exact same thing here. Jeremiah Wells thinks he's a striker. His striking is terrible. He just throws wild shit. Don't let it land. Beat him to the punch. Get inside and, and handle your business. Because, um, But like I said, sometimes Sumsberg does some stupid shit. So that's why I am a little bit nervous for him. But he's going to be my pick. 
So you're going to speak as confidently as you just spoke and then back out of a bet. I just said I can't trust him. Why would I bet him? I trust my guy. I'll bet him. Well, put a money line bet on him. Let's see it in premium. Mine, I was, it was to bet you. Oh. Because I disagree with I you. I trust my guy. <laughs> Oh, I can't you. believe you talked all that shit, and then you didn't even bet. I trust my guy. Okay, put a money line bet on. <laughs> this is why I'm the favorite. I think I'm the favorite, right? I think the community likes me more than you. Fucking clown show. Move on to the next fight. What are we doing? Eighty-four hundred dollars in DraftKings. Seventy-eight hundred dollars in DraftKings. Who do you think's the better DraftKings value? Uh, I'd stay away from both of them, probably, because it's just it's a it's decent. Fight. Va- it's decent value. I mean, it is. it actually is decent value because Jeremiah Wells has been putting up those numbers. So he's worth it according to every fight he's had in the UFC so far. But Matt Semelsberger, as tough as he is, not sure yet what I'm going to do with DraftKings there. But uh, go to wewantpicks.com, unlock all the DraftKings tools, and that might help you guide you. Maybe the ownership, maybe the scoring projections, maybe the player rankings, something like that will guide you into the right spot here.